Historically, mankind has been dealing with explosive atmospheres for hundreds of years. Fast forward to today, and still every day people all around the world go to work in potentially dangerous situations. Workers from a wide range of industries such as agriculture, mining and manufacturing, just to name a few, are turning up to work in explosive atmospheres. But what is an explosive atmosphere? It's probably not what you first imagine. An explosive atmosphere, as indicated by the symbol EX, is somewhere that flammable liquids, vapours, gases, combustible dusts or other hazardous substances are likely to occur in quantities sufficient to cause a fire or explosion when an ignition source is unintentionally introduced. Explosive atmospheres are found in a wide range of workplaces and are referred to as hazardous areas. In almost all workplaces with explosive atmospheres, workers use both electrical and non-electrical equipment and machinery to get the job done. You would probably think that for small or simple tasks, companies who operate in explosive atmospheres can just buy non-specialised off-the-shelf consumer equipment. This is not the case. The problem with most consumer and industrial goods is that they aren't suitable for explosive atmospheres and when operated in a hazardous area, have the potential to cause catastrophic events. How do we know which equipment can be operated in hazardous areas? Companies must use EX equipment to protect their personnel, the public and assets while adhering to prescriptive safety regulations within the region. This is equipment that has been designed, manufactured and tested to international IEC standards. The IEC or International Electrotechnical Commission is a non-profit organisation that develops international standards for its members in the global community. For explosive environments, the IEC EX, who operate under its parent IEC, provide conformity assessment for its four schemes, including the Certified Equipment Scheme. The IEC EX Certificate of Conformity Equipment Scheme is administered by an approved IEC EX certification body, EXCB, by providing a service to manufacturers that satisfy the relevant requirements of appropriate IEC standards. This includes the testing of the products by an IEC EX test laboratories, EXTL, and are manufactured in factories that continue to satisfy requirements checked regularly by surveillance audits. The vision of the IECEX is to enable worldwide acceptance of one standard, one certificate and one mark. The problem with a segmented approach, where each region and country have their own set of rules and regulations, is the amount of extra work, costs and delays it creates to make sure equipment complies in each region. This not only impacts the manufacturer, but creates an inefficient process for all stakeholders. The IECEX conformity assessment provides a cost-effective solution to manufacturers and the end user. Manufacturers can sell their products into the global community without additional testing, providing the product with a passport for entry into the global market. End users can purchase EX equipment with the assurance that the equipment to be used in hazardous areas is safe by holding a valid IEC EX Certificate of Conformity. This is why the adoption of a single international governing body is so critical in creating a simplified, unified process for the manufacturing and certification of EX equipment. What does this unified process look like? There are two main components, standards, and conformity assessment. In its simplest form, a standard provides a consensus-based set of written instructions and conformity assessments verifies that these instructions are properly applied in real-world technical devices and systems. It is important to note that standards and conformity assessment are like a two-sided coin. Neither side has value without the other. The IECEX equipment scheme provides an IECEX Test Report, EXTR, IECEX Quality Assessment Report, QAR, IECEX Certificate of Conformity, COC. The EXTR demonstrates that a sample of EX production product has been tested to all relevant requirements of all relevant IEC or ISO standards and that the sample has satisfied all relevant requirements. Samples of the equipment will be tested by the approved IECEX test laboratory of the certifying body responsible for the testing. 
The QAR Quality Assessment Report demonstrates that the manufacturing locations where the certified product is manufactured has been audited and has been confirmed as capable of manufacturing product identical in design and performance to the tested sample. Once a product has met the relevant standards, passed the conformity assessment and been verified, the manufacturer is issued with a highly regarded and valued IECX Certificate of Conformity. The IECX website is a comprehensive information portal of X equipment for the public, members and end users. By clicking on View Certificates and Licenses, you will be linked to the IECX online certificate system. Finding the relevant document is easy. If you know the certificate number, simply enter it into the top search box and you will be presented with the exact matching result. Alternatively, you can use the search tools and enter any known information about the certificate, including the name of the applicant, date range, certification body and current status. The search results will display the current controlled copy of the Certificate of Conformity. Each certificate also contains all relevant information, including the standards to which a product has been tested, the test report summary, the quality assessment report summary, and the certification body. If the certificate is not able to be found, then it does not exist. Modern work environments still present us with many challenges when it comes to explosive atmospheres, making the role of the IECX as valuable as ever. The Certified Equipment Scheme provides us with confidence and ensures safer working environments around the world. For more information, please visit our website.